I really didn't know what to expect. I'd never been in a LARP group, but I had met people who were involved. Some had been lovely people and some had turned out to be quite unpleasant people. My name's Chris. I escape from things that are bothering me by either doing something productive or usually I'll try and write a piece of music. You should probably try and do as many interesting things as possible. And sometimes the most interesting things are the things you have no idea about. This game is a fantasy game and there's three races. Um, of those three races, I've got one storyteller for each and I lead that group of people to make the game. We create stories and coordinate the stories of the player characters together so that events happen. Essentially what you do is you create characters, we create scenarios and you play your character almost like freeform acting. So I would like to play an elf. Do you have any idea of what kind of elf you'd like to play? So concepts are. Uh, a warrior or a rogue would be fun I think. So a warrior concept is fine in any of the cultures and certainly a sword warrior would work well in the orcs. So if you want to be a warrior, they are probably the best for that. Any guy who wants to fight, I'll fight him. Any guy who wants to challenge me, I'll challenge him. That kind of thing. Yeah, because you're a player character, yeah. you make that decision. Hello. Uh, this is our Thursday night training we do every week. Mostly it's to try and teach each other how to be safe. What we'll do is we'll get you your sword and I'm going to let you use that one. When you're a kid, you just do whatever the hell you wanted to do. We just run around, but this is more like, this is legitimately how creative adults have fun. It's like, no, no, we've got a strict set of rules we adhere to, and you actually, you know, it's a skill testing thing. Based on what Sam and I have said, I think I'll play like real rough and tumble warrior who just kind of comes in and messes things up. Like that's, uh, I think that's right in my wheelhouse. Confident is not the word I'd use. Like I'm fairly sure I'll get most of my body parts handed to me on a platter, but them's the breaks, I guess, of being an orc. Part of the character needs to reflect you as a person because you're the one playing it and you're kind of making the snap decisions. So it needs to be something that's close to you, but it also needs to kind of have characteristics that aren't you and that you're playing a character outside of it. If you had said to me, oh, what are you going to be doing on a random Sunday sometime? I probably wouldn't have said, like, oh, I'm going to go put on green face paint and play that I'm an orc. But, I mean, then here I am, and I find myself really looking forward to it. I was going in with an open mind, but also ready to meet a lot of very difficult people. Here I am, in my orc outfit. I'm really excited. Now that I've gotten here and all the makeup and the costumes on, like, it's really starting to feel like something real and I, I can't wait to get out there and play. This is basically a very small group of maybe 40 or 50 people <laughs> dressing up, doing some improv acting, which is what it is first and foremost. It's doing something else with your time. People do golf, people do cricket, we do LARP, live action role play. Game is on. Go where you want your character to go. I've gone to the Orc Fort and I've met, you know, given her cursory hellos to a lot of the, um, the orcs and then I've, I've also checked out the human fort and just had a few interactions with the characters and just trying to feel them out. Yeah, I'm not going to go charging in there with my sword, that would be counterproductive. All their technologies had set me on fire. <laughs> Giant wolf! The character's not playing exactly how I thought it would in my head, but it's working well, I think. But how can we trust you? Oh, hey, orcs! What? You got some uh, black tattooed orcs invading your holy lands. What? You might want to see to that. Uh, so basically, this swamp is a sacred holy land for us. The orcs that had came through here were also from the Black Horde and they had come to take this holy land but luckily mostly orcs and an alliance of humans and elves gave them what for so now they are dead and the crisis has been averted for now.
for now. We've thrown in um, some aggressor characters, which I think we just witnessed coming in, and unfortunately the players decided they were NPCs, so they had to kill them straight away before they could say anything. Oh, there he is there. Yeah. Oh, better. Now, eh? oh. Yeah, we're all very tough tonight. I was afraid of it being very slow, but it's nice that it's moving yeah, a bit faster. Yeah, I do. Stop going easy on you. I'm really surprised how much it's not just running around sword fighting. Like, there's actually a lot of nuance to it. Like, obviously you can't just charge in and have a sword fight, or you'll die. I think I killed him. You got a corpse to deal with. You may have done me a favour. He hasn't even got anything in his purse. Let's go, Corporal. What I originally thought was going to be a very slow game has had a lot of backstabbing and betrayal and there's magic and there's zombies and so there's actually been a lot going on. The first few times you feel a bit silly but then there comes a time where you hear a yell and you're like, oh, stuff's going down, like, I actually want to get over there, like, it's not even an act, it's just because you get that into it. I suppose they just want everyone to have a good game, you know, more than anything, that's the most important thing and I really feel like they helped me do that.